Oh, Serenica, blessed ancestor, the time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. We're going to use the orbs to take the Luminary up to the World Tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica, Sage of Legend, lend me your power! Help me fulfill my duty and protect the Luminary! <gasps> Oi! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. Hmm? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Stop staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. We've got important things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. Well, don't look so surprised to see us. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Aye. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last. Hmm. <laughs> once.
Oh, 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 how oh, this trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Huh? Uh, mm. oh. Oh. Uh, mm. oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. This is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's strange. I feel like I've been here before. I know what you mean. Well, it is the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. <gasps> ah! Ow! Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. I am so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. Now, Maddy, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Hmm. you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. <laughs> My powers repelled, but how? Wait, that sword. Very impressive. But it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me! Come, Luminary. All of you.
What do we have here? <gasps> what has Jasper led us into? What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He sold his soul to the forces of evil. <gasps> the Luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. Curse you. So this is how you repay your king? With treachery? Master, help me. <gasps> Faithless cur! You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? <laughs> I am grateful to you, Hendrik. If you had not brought me here, I may never have learned the truth. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued. <sighs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. It seems I owe you an apology. It was Jasper who spoke of the Darkspawn, who poisoned me against you. Father. <laughs> oh, uh, Jade! My beloved daughter, how is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. <laughs> Come, let me look at you. <laughs> you have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? 
Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, biding his time. But we have the luminary on our side. Now, you must claim the Sword of Light. The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it! It is beautiful, magnificent. Ah. What, what was that? Well, no matter. Wait. You're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert. You are the defenders of Yggdrasil. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. Time I will make amends. I swear it. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. Luminary, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you in the manner you deserve at last. To think 
I once thought ill of you. Saw you as a harbinger of calamity. Called you unconscionable things. You are truly Jasper cast a most malign shadow. I owe you a great deal. You have revealed the traitor in our midst and returned my daughter to me. As a small token of my appreciation, I have arranged for some special visitors. Hendrik, if you would. Yes, sir. about you. I heard all these horrible stories. Right after you left the village, this horrible man called Jasper came with all these soldiers. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He ordered us all to gather in the middle of the village and then, then he told his men to kill us all. But Sir Hendrik came to the rescue. He showed up just in the nick of time and told Jasper to let us live. They still locked us up in the castle, but at least we were safe. And then they came and told us you weren't a baddie after all, and let us go. We've been through an awful lot, love. But from what I hear, so have you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> now let us begin the festivities at last. From this day forth, None shall doubt the luminary. He shall be honored, celebrated, adored. What is this? Why can I not touch the sword? Accursed luminary! Give it to me! Give me the sword of light! It belongs to me! <gasps> What's going on? 
going on in here? Princess, what is the meaning of this? Arrgh. I knew it! You're not my father! Look at you! You're a monster, not a man! Yeah, blight are you. So this whole thing was a sham? He disappeared. Oi, you! Stop skulking in the shadows! Come out and show your stupid face! Something tells me he won't have gone far. Quick, let's search the castle. you we've got you cornered now let the king go and show us your true form fiend I have been enjoying Carnelian's hospitality since the day Dundrasil fell. <sighs> but the game ends here, and since I was unable to steal it from you, it seems I must take it by force. Mordigan, so it's you. I've waited years for this day to come. Not only Jasper, but his majesty too. Your deception shall not go unpunished, devil. You have been serviceable puppet over the years, Hendrik. But it is time you joined your wretched kinfolk in hell. Right. You mean it was you? You who massacred my people? It was all you, wasn't it? The destruction of Dundrasil. The families torn apart. You've stolen so much from so many. And now you're going to pay. I stand with you, Luminary. My loved ones. My countrymen. They must be avenged. I'm with you too. This is the guy who's had it in for you all this time, right? Let's show him who he's been messing with. Well, Luminary, what are you waiting for? Come! Here! 
right. Father! Father, are you all right? Uh, I... Jade... Can it really be you? Have I been dreaming? The, the last I remember is the attack on Dundras Hill. <sighs> Wait, that mark. The child. The luminary. But you were a mere babe in arms when I last saw you. There is clearly much we need to discuss. But, but you must forgive me. I'm still feeling rather faint. <laughs> Father, you mustn't overexert yourself. I need to look after him. We'll meet here again tomorrow, all right? Oof. Those two are going to have a lot to catch up on, huh? A lot. <laughs>